Okay, everybody, uh, super quick one that you've probably heard before, but I just want to make sure because I just did it. And so that is with a Dexcom. You can extend the life of one when it is working properly. So if you get the 10-day notice and it's going to tell you that your sensor is going to expire, you can actually reset the sensor without taking it off your body incredibly easily and you can make it keep working. And so the reason I'm doing this is because I've, I've had a couple of issues where sensors have fallen off before I expected and I was running low on supplies and also I finally had a good experience with one. So you can see that this one is it's a little old because it's been there for about 13 days already. Um, however, when it was about to end, I was like, I, I want to keep it here. It's, it's actually working. So let me just show you again, probably repetition for anybody that's not aware of this, but I'm not going to do it right now, but I will demonstrate exactly what to do. So you've got your sensor on. It tells you that it's about to expire and you want to keep it on. What you do is first you would go to your Dexcom app and you would stop the sensor session. So you're going to stop the session just like you would normally do if you were going to take it off your body and put on a new one. So once the session is stopped, I take one of my um, glucose test strips. And if you look on the bottom of your Dexcom, there's going to be a little little gap in here. It's a little hard to do by yourself, but basically you find this entry entryway into the gap. You push the glucose stick up as far as you can. And basically what it does is it creates a barrier between like the sensors that tell the Dexcom that there's something attached to it and the, and the actual transmitter itself. So you push the transmitter up there for as far as you can, and then you leave it there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take the, the glucose stick out, go back to your Dexcom app, start a new sensor session, and then you would, you would ideally have taken a photo of a previous like sensor number, um, or you just have one laying around. It does not matter which one you use or if it actually matches what you did when you put that sensor on the first time. So you just write in the, um, the number, what it asks you, the sensor code, start the session, two hours later, you're good to go. You can do that indefinitely. I'm sure that it's not recommended because I think it starts to degrade after a while, but you know, it's, it's incredibly helpful if maybe you just don't want to take it off because it's actually working or you, for whatever reason, just need to extend the life of it. So I know that tutorial is out there in lots of other places, but since I just did it myself, just want to make sure that everybody's clear on it.